You read me? KIU Conversations. You know what we be doing around here, big baby. You understand me? You understand? But so are my peoples. You know I've got another one for us, man. You know I'm trying to keep us lit. Yeah, man. We're linking it right tonight, man. Hey, the LA in the building, you dig? How we do this? You feel me? Another one like the other one. That's all. Ain't no trouble. You feel me? Look at my guy. We can make history again. That's what we be doing around here. Mm. KIU Conversation. Cali Pre Publications and Films, man. A real tycoon, man. You know what I'm saying? We put these dots together. So are my peoples out there. My nephews, little boys, I see y'all. Oh, bro, I see you. That's what it is. Oh, man. See you, champ. My guy at, man. What the stop it? You feel me? Oh, man, you know what? Not like the other one. Trying to make his <laughs> <laughs> I was like, Where's my man? What's going on, man? <laughs> What's up, my guy, man? Man, hey, I just, I, you know, I was, I was kind of doing some I mean, earlier, but I, I got together now. So I forgot all about the, the get down. I knew it was something important I had to do, <laughs> yeah. and I had to get back to where I was, you know, come back to the home, home, home spot. What's yeah. happening with you? Oh man, just you know, trying to keep this emotion going on for us, man. Connect these dots, you dig? Yeah, 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 man. What you got going? Oh man, just um, these little KIU conversations, just chopping up with real ones, and you know what I mean. Just trying to get these youngsters yeah. something that they can bite their sink their teeth into. You feel me, big dog? <laughs> for sure, for sure. Yeah. That's what's up. How they treat you? I'm all right. I'm out here in Stockton, man. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm out here in Stockton. It's, it's okay, man. I'm, I'm supposed to be moving. I'm moving to the city, man. Uh, in December. Okay, okay. You said that city I'm life, huh? Yeah, I'm. You know, I, I, I was down there. I, I got this little housing gig. I, I had signed up for some months back, man. So um, it's coming through. But uh, he said December. I should be. I'll be down that way, man. I'll be in the city, man. Okay, okay, okay. You know, next time I'm up here and you up there, we're gonna have to really get together. You know what I'm talking about? Link up. Yeah, yeah. Oh, ain't no question, man. You know, I'm a. I'm gonna be around there, man. Uh, you know, um, I got my gig back, man. My truck driver gig back, so you know it'll be, it'll be cool, man. I'm just trying to do something different, man. I feel you are, you know, bro. You see, I'm, I'm same thing. You know what I mean? Trying to stay consistent but do different things at the same time. You know what I mean? Yeah, man. It's just, uh, I mean, you know, it's out here, man. Muffet just gotta push through it, man. Straight like that. Straight like that. You feel me? Yeah. You know, just Muffet just gotta. It's so it's it's you know I'm just man, we will gonna get together. It's gonna come together. <laughs> hey, man, that, that, hey, listen, this is what we're here for. Can you come and say so we can chop this game and steel sharp and steel and spark things in each other? You feel me? And keep this thing lit. You feel me, big dog? I want to write another book, man, but I don't really have book time. You know what I'm saying? I, you know, I, you wrote a book too, didn't you? Yeah, I wrote two of them. Yeah, talk yeah, talk about the talk about that process for me. Talk about your book. Well, talk I, about your book. I, I, I wrote Pyro Love Part One and Pyro Love Part Two. You know, it's a good Ooh. read. It's, it's it's a little gang activity, but it's not it's not solely based on just shoot 'em up, bang bang. It's more of just like a psychological how niggas grow up in it. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. And it, it gives a 
description of the, cause you know, the whole family in, in that book, the whole family game banging mama, daddy, sisters, and everybody. And it's showing mm-hmm. the other side of, of banging. I mean, it's based on my, uh, one of my homies, um, when we were coming up, it's based on him and his family. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He had a mom that was out of control. She was back then. We didn't know what was, uh, what, what's the word? Um, bipolar. We didn't know what bipolar was or what it meant, but she was hella bipolar now that you look at <laughs> Right. <laughs> He was hella bipolar, right? <laughs> Looking at it now that we're older, but you know, he he my homie, he grew up in a, an environment where his mama banged, his his daddy bang. Well, no, no, no. His daddy was a his his daddy was a was a, a tr- like a um a, a trick. He's like a trick baby. You know what I'm saying? My homie, yeah. right? In real life. Right. So, but his mama bang, his brothers bang, his sisters. So he grew up in that environment, but he's a pretty boy. He's a he's a he black and Asian. He's a pretty boy. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So they kind of leaning on him, but he just he the roughest motherfucker of the bunch, you know. What I'm right. Saying? Yeah. In real life, in real right. life. Right. But I wrote in the book, I wrote the same way in the book. So uh, it's a good read, Power of Love uh, One and Two. I'm gonna I'm gonna do the trilogy, and I'm gonna lay that to rest. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So I wrote that when I was in the feds. I wrote that when I I wrote the first book when I was in the feds in uh, 2000. Well, I went back on a violation. I caught a case downtown. I caught a case on Ellison Jones, right? <laughs> I oh. caught a case on Ellison. Yeah, I caught a case on Ellison Jones. I'm walk me to the police station, right? <laughs> and uh, <laughs> I did a violation. After doing 17 years in the feds, I had to do the violation and went to uh, Herlong uh, FCI. And I wrote, to stay busy, to stay out of trouble, uh, to stay occupied, I wrote, I wrote a book. I wrote, I wrote Pirate Love Part 1. And I got out. I wrote the second book in Redwood City Jail. Mm. I went to jail Red City. Yeah. I was down in 2007 on a robbery case. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I mean, jumped up charges. I, I got, I beat it, but I'm saying, I end up, I wrote part two. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, <laughs> so that that kept me busy, man, writing these books. And I wrote some more books, but I only published two. Okay. So talk about the process of, of actually going from writing it in the feds to getting it published. Did you publish it from the feds or did you just have it in like, oh, how did how did the process no, go for you, too? Well, I, no, when, when I went I, when I was in the when I was in the feds, I did when I went to when, I said when I was I went to jail Ellison Jones for a violation. I had some dope on me, boom, and they, I went to I did a violation. They walked me to the process. I went on her long, so I got sentenced to two years because I was a I was a a violator with a new case. So they gave me two years in the feds, but I, it was really a state case. I was going to San Quentin for uh, thirteen months, but mm-hmm. my federal my federal violation overread the motherfucking hey. sentence I was in for the little rocks I had my my drawers, right? Yeah. <laughs> so I, I went and did the violation, but um in the process I just basically wrote it in jail and then I had got it uh copywritten in jail. Mm. So uh I didn't learn that this was my first time doing it because I did it by my I did it uh, you know do it yourself. Yeah. So I had to learn it wasn't really till I got out and my little bra I had a bra she helped me uh do it through Google and do it through the do it yourself independently getting it uh published, you know, just paying for the covers and yeah. I had a I, I nigga out of Oakland uh did this cover for twenty dollars, you know what I'm saying? So Man. he I paid him twenty dollars and he did this for me. And you know, I just pretty much told him what I wanted. So I kept the cover, you know, I kept the PDF file and, and did all that and um had it uh, printed up and signed a contract with Google. You know, they sell so many uh the book is fifteen dollars. They keep five and I keep ten. Yeah. And the distributor. So it's just basically me just really just promoting and, and trying to sell it, you know. Right. And they go distribute. They go distribute it. So yeah, it was it wasn't it wasn't a hard process. I mean it's it's they got a step by step. If you want to do it, if you're trying to put a book out, uh you want to do it yourself, they got a, a pretty much easy format how you do it on uh create space on uh, okay. uh, Amazon. Okay, yeah I I I I published mine to Amazon too and then like you said it was a it was a pretty easy process. It was a pretty simple process to actually. It was just getting the actual work together first. That's the main thing. Once you got the work, the writing or whatever, the transferring it over, <laughs> it, it ain't that hard. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. And, right, good, right. and it's 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 good to see something that you actually thought of in your mind come to fruition like that. You know what I'm saying? To actually see that hard copy, like because you know you be writing and writing, and you don't you know you especially that first one. You just be writing and writing and be like, you know, I'm going to do a book, but you don't even know if you're going to do a book yet. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. right. So, you know, that, 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 I mean, it, it wasn't hard. So, uh, 
I, I, I just wanted to see, I just wanted to see if I could write a book and I did it. So I impressed myself. So I, you know, I got two books. So, and, and then, but most of my books sell on the East coast women, mm. a lot of women buy my books on the East coast. Okay. A lot of them. Uh, they dig the story. They, they like the storyline, you know, right. <laughs> <laughs> what did what did you learn? Did you learn anything in the in the in, in writing? Because you studying while you writing. Did you learn anything more about the psychology of you know the the young men that you grew up with, or you know the lifestyle? I know, like you were saying, we didn't know about PTSD and we didn't get tested for mm -hmm. all that stuff back then. You dig? And we right, know right. we was affected by it. You know what I'm saying? We know. You feel me, big dog? Right. So, what did did you learn more about it as you was writing? As I was writing, yes, a lot of a lot of windows open up for a motherfucker. Uh, excuse me. Uh, hold on one second. Yeah, uh, yeah, I learned I learned a lot. I mean, you know, uh, uh, I mean, as far as like the writing process of it, I learned how to you know be expressive. As far as the character and learn, I had read a I had a good thesaurus, so I was able to. Try to make the characters as real as possible uh, when they express themselves or when they say certain things. Yeah, you know, I learned how to uh, express and and be a try to be the best. I mean, I ask people about the book and they say they did they did they did a I did a good job of explaining and they right. understand it. Right, right, right. But even far as like the psychology, because of course you are, you've been banging all your life. But I'm talking about like how you said people don't really understand the psychology of it. You know what I'm oh right, 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 right. That's why, yeah. It's, I mean, that's why I kind of like. I want a good storyline as far as the shoot up, bang, bang. We know all that, but I'm just saying right. how a motherfucker, how a person get to how a person join the game. You know what I'm saying? Like go. what what person in in, in in the book? His thing is his mother. He he in real life he's a trick baby, and in the book he's a trick baby. So. His daddy, he don't really know his daddy, but he knows his mama, and he's really trying to be accepted by his mother, because his mother, she's popular. She, you know, she with the business, she yeah. fine, yeah. whole nine, right mm -hmm. know. But he wants, he wants, he wants love from his mama like a mother, and she won't. She's pushing him away. Right. So that same love that he's seeking, he's getting from the homies down the street. You know right. what I'm saying? So you know, the homies down the street. I mean, it, it, see, I grew up in L.A. and I grew up in the Bay. I grew up in Oakland too. Yeah. So. I got the best of both worlds. You know what I'm saying? Right. So when I get tired of LA and the gang shit, I would come up here in West Oakland. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because I grew up in West Oakland too. You right. know what I'm saying? So it's 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 only thing is different between LA and the Bay is just that motherfuckers don't bang colors and colors don't make a difference. But I mean, right. far as funk town, dog town, ghost town, I mean the bottoms, the acorn, it's that's still an area, it's still a hood. Straight up, you know what I'm saying? Straight up. It's still <laughs> you know? invisible boundaries and lines and all that. Right. I mean, it's just like OC and, and, and you know what, Double Rock and all right. that shit down there, Third right. Blue, and you know how yeah. that go. Yeah. You got homies, I'm 50, so it's a different era. So back then with my homies, it wasn't cool to get high. Like, smoking drugs, nigga, that was, that, nigga, what? You, right. you can't be smoking toot powder and all that smoking and crack. You been like, it cost smoking no crack. Your ass right. out. You know what I'm right. saying? So back then, it was a different, you know what I'm saying? Like, Muffet told me, drugs is for the sale, not to use. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> and I get caught smoking on goddamn drugs, but now this area they lean in and they tooting powder and yeah. you know it, it, it's it's cool. Right. But this is right. a different you know, so I mean, so the love that he was looking for trying to get from his mother, he was getting from the homies. The homies make sure he went to school, he did this, stayed in line, blah blah, and had his back. So, you know, and eventually in the book, his mother kind of kicked in and started accepting him when she realized everybody else was accepting it, the school teacher and the homies, you know what I'm saying? Right. So that makes, this is what makes gangs so like, you know, knit, tight knit and homie love from the love. I mean, if I could go to you and you, and you look out for me as a big homie and you tell me things, I'm gonna look up to the big homie. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. <laughs> and it's just how gangs, you know, and just have somebody have your back. If I get in some trouble, some niggas down there whoop my ass and you roll and you come and, Ain't assist me, shit. I mean, who don't want that love? Who don't want right, that? Right, right, right. You know? Who's turning that down? Yeah. Who's turning that down? You know, yeah. so that's how it really, you know, and, that, and that's how it really operates. How old were you when you when you first joined the game, bro? Yeah, well, you know, games kind of run in my family, so it's like I had an older brother that was a gang. I mean, I wasn't really, you know, they got with the area where you, where you call it, you claiming. 
You yeah. just claiming shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right? Yeah. It, wasn't, it, wasn't, it wasn't until I was a teenager, 15, 16, yeah. when I was at banking, you know, but right. prior to that, I was just, I knew where I was going to be from. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You already knew the route you was on. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So, you know, it, it's, it's, but I, I'm glad I got the best of both worlds, you know, LA and the base. I've been coming to the base since 74. Mm. You know, Talk about I was going. How, how did you? How did you? You had family in both, or how did that work? For you? My mother's from the Bay. My mother's from the Bay. Okay, from okay. The Bay. yeah. That, you and my like grandma. Me. My pops, he's from the South, but he's been living down here in LA like all my since I was young. You feel me? So I always been coming back and forth since I was a kid too. Right, and see, I used to go to Jim Joe's church in San Francisco though. Oh, okay. you remember that? You know what I'm like saying? I wasn't you there, big baby. <laughs> hey, we that's, game. Game. that's some game. That's some game. Talk to me. When I used to come, when I used to come we, used to, we used to live in West Oakland on MacArthur Market, right? Yeah. Boom. And this was Jim Jones Church was popping. This was like yeah. 75, 76, somewhere mm-hmm. I was little. It was like 60 mm-hmm. old. But I remember when we get close to the church because right there on Gary, you know, it was it KFC. The KFC Taco Bell is closed down right there on Gary, right? But I used to, when, when I was a kid, it used to just be that bucket of chicken, that Colonel Sanders, that right. Colonel Sanders chicken. Right? Yeah. I just be laying in the space bag and I see that. I know we're getting close to Jim Jones Church. We get <laughs> and we would go to the church and the congregation, man. And what was crazy, it wasn't nothing but black people there. Mm-hmm. It wasn't nothing but it wasn't nothing but black people and all the Phil Mo and it was all the it was mostly it was a lot of Frisco people, you know, like right. Phil Mo, uh, yeah. Hunter's Point. He had he had that he had that church on. When I look at it right now, he had that shit on lock. You hear me? Damn. But boy, I'm glad I didn't go over there and drink that Kool Aid, man. I didn't make that trip. For real. <laughs> yeah, I had I had a great aunt that went over there, but me and my grandma, we didn't go. But we took a few trips when when he's try to go to L.A. But we didn't go over there to that motherfucking uh, to the retreat. Yeah, to the retreat. Uh, <laughs> uh, like that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Man, but it's just that um, you know. That was a hell of a time. That was the seventies, man. That was that was the mid seventies. Damn, nigga, old around this motherfucker. Hey, season, that's all. You feel me? Uh, damn. Yeah, that that was that was a good time, man. But you know, whew, man, shit done. Too much, so much shit done changed, man. But I was glad I was able to get a taste of both the northern and southern. That's why I named myself Cali Creek. It's right. California Creek. Right. <laughs> you didn't touch it yeah. all, right? <laughs> you know, I'm out here in Stockton now. Stockton is nice. It's it's cool, but you know it ain't it ain't it ain't the bay. But right. it, it's cool. The, the, the bay is getting everywhere is getting gentrified. Everywhere, everywhere. In L.A. Everywhere in New York, it is, everybody's getting gentrified. Man, they pushing us out of there. They, we got to come with something else, man. We got to come with another plan. They they pushing they pushing us out. The, you know the the the. They want that inner area. They want that. They want that. Uh, like when I used to live in West Oakland, they want West Oakland. They want the Bart Station. They want yeah, that. For sure. That area. They want that ass crime. Yeah. We didn't, and, and even like in the city, like a lot of our projects be up on the hill where you got oh, million I know. dollar, where it's million dollar views. You feel I, me? So we didn't even know we were sitting there. We like sitting on oil when they came in the real estate, people came. They even they were so willing to buy it that they would give some of them back to the tenants if they could sell a few of them to some people who don't know no better. So these people come by these high rises and it's, you know what I mean, and they in there with the with the, with the same you feel me people who've been living there all their lives. You know what I mean? Oh, and they had to they had to include you dig? That's crazy because I, I I remember uh, one of my homies he just got out he did like thirty two years he just got out he's he's Ian Frisco right now. Uh, we was over there by Candlestick Park, and I was looking. I was like, "Damn, look at all this!" You know, what I'm saying like all this man. area, man. And I was like, "Damn!" But I was telling him because you know some of the projects that they had remodeled and painted and did all that. And I was telling, him, I said, "Man, just imagine you grew up right here in that view, just looking over. You know, what I'm saying the Pacific mm-hmm. Ocean, the Bay Bridge. That's a hell of a view right there, man. man. That's a nice view for real. <laughs> and it's right there in the hood, you know." Yeah. But, Man, it's it's uh, you know, it's it's California, man. I love Cali. Like, you know, I love Cali too. Just got to figure out a pay <laughs> for it. You know what I'm talking about? Um, how long how long was you down in the field before you decided to write to write the first book? 
Man, 17 years. I did 17 years and 10 months with some crack cocaine. I got caught in Kansas City with some coke. Crack. Right. <laughs> in Kansas City. Crack coke. Kansas City. I was out there in Kansas City, Kansas. Kansas City, Missouri. Trying to get a few dollars. But, <laughs> Yeah, back then, them dollars were sweet back then. You know, this is 1990, 90, 89. Them dollars were sweet back then, but I didn't know what to do with it. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't have a plan. I just wanted some money. Right. I didn't yeah, have a plan. You some folks out there or what happened? Yeah, yeah. You get the little homies out there. We slid out there, but it was, 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 was the bad part of it. I mean, the money was there all day. It's just that, you know, I get the money. I'm not doing nothing with it. I didn't, I didn't. I wasn't mature. I wasn't mature enough. Now, I mean, if I just do it now, shit, I got a plan. You know what I'm saying? But, <laughs> yeah. but yeah, I, mean, it, I think it, that was a that was a lot of us in every like everywhere. Like, I'm a I'm the younger than you. I'm 43, but in the time like when me and my partner come up in our little small neighborhood in Lake and Frisco, it was going so crazy. You know what I mean? Like, I we really, I know. Like, we didn't think it would have never end. You feel me, bro? Like, we were just. I was just talking to my partner the other day, like, you could really come outside with nothing. Wake up first thing in the morning with nothing, you know what I mean? And and go back in the house with $1,000 just off the muscle, just, you know, doing nothing, like, you know what I mean? And it'd be like, you think that that's just going to last forever, bro, and that the environment was going to be there forever and all the, the monuments and everything, you know what I'm saying? And I always tell people, like, the first day I realized I couldn't go back to the block and I had a stay away order and all that, I was just like, I was so devastated. You would have thought my mom's, <laughs> pat- mom's passed away or something. You know what I'm saying? Man. But the yeah. mentality, you feel me, bro? All right. We think it's going to last forever, man. We want this. <laughs> <laughs> we think this shit going to last forever, but, you know, it, it, it all co- I mean, the, the, the tenderloin used to be like that. You go out there to the tenderloin, man. Man, listen. Man, that thing to a what? picture. Right, when I got out, I said, motherfucker still selling crack? He was like, hell yeah. I'm smoking that shit. Like, what? Oh, I'm going to give me a sack tomorrow. Fuck that. <laughs> Working ass thing, you know, motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> How would you describe the TL to somebody from a different state or somebody who from somewhere else if you well, had to describe it to the L? Well, TL, man, let me see the tenderloin. It's like, a, it's like New York. You ever been to New York? I haven't been to New York. Oh man! Well, New York is like a big tenderloin, right? Okay. Okay. Uh, it's wild like that. You know what I'm saying? But the TLs, what I like, the difference between the TLs and let's say Skiro in LA, uh, Skiro in LA, they 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 really on tenderloin. They on everything, hot fitting on crack with peels. You got peel corn peel here. We I mean, everything. It's float. Money is when I I got an O eight. Right, I got an OA. I was working at Club Fusion down there on Cyril Magnin and Ellis, right mm-hmm. there by the by by, by uh, Park Fifty Five Hotel. I was, it was a hotel across the street. Some white boys they had called Fusion Lounge. It's, it's still Hotel Fusion now, but they used to have Fusion Lounge. I used to work there, and I was selling crack there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Weed. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I got. Like, and I was like, damn. I was like, um, it's 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 just rapid. It's just nah, everything yeah. is just moving. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, you, when you sack, you got to have a sack. You can't be tucking it. I, I had to put them up in my hand, you know what I'm saying? Because they, they like come that. like that. It moved too fast, and, right. Yeah. And it's moving fast. You know what I'm saying? But you, it's, they move so fast, the police be everywhere, though, too. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah, the police. Yeah. That's why I never they, could they, do the L's. I never, <laughs> that, <that's, laughs> they, they, and then they hit you with this shit here. That's the police. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mother's doing all that boy, and they get motherfuckers. But yeah, I mean, to explain it, it's fast paced. Fast money and it's moving fast, and you got to keep your head in the swivel. Straight like that. Straight like that. But it, it, back then it was money. Now it's this shit is dry. But back then, and 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 nigga they had to touch that because you had your bitch out there, so you didn't have to touch nothing. You, could just, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Kick back. Hold on. Yeah. <laughs> that was a different animal. Yeah, straight like that. It was. A different animal. I loved it though. I was like, I'm ready for this one. I like this animal. <laughs> <laughs> for real, who, who who introduced you to the LSP? Who, who was your who's the person that first thing come bro, come look at this, come check well, this I, out? I, well, I mean, I've been, I've been, you know, I've been, you know, when I was a kid, I used to always go to Pier Thirty Nine. Okay, yeah, you know, yeah, you are. So I yeah. knew about the L, but yeah. I didn't. My thing, man, I don't know nobody, right? Right. But when I got that, it was a mixture of everybody. I mean, like most of us, like from 
film on Huntsboro don't really be down there like that because they, oh. you know, they be in their hood, right? You right. know what I'm saying? But it be a lot of other motherfuckers down there, right? Yeah. Richmond and then, you know, you got Vallejo and Oakland and different. Moments. There's a few Frisco dudes, but most of the Frisco dudes, they it's, it's they roll in their hood, you know what I'm saying? So they ain't really right. be down there like that. Too. But um, my partner, what, what made me go down there, I told you I, I was working and I kept seeing motherfuckers going down there and looking like they buying stuff. I said, what's up? What they buying? I said, shit, sure, got crack down there? He's like, yeah, yeah. I said, for real? Yeah. So I was at work. So I was like, so I went down, what they go investigate. I went down further. I said, what's the problem? I, you know, I just talked to you. I know how to talk to them. What's my, that yeah, motherfucker, you got some crack? I was like, crack? Nah. I said, I get some, though. No? Yeah. I said, I got some, you got butter, some cream? I said, I go get some cream. Yeah, I'm going to yeah. get some. Yeah. <laughs> I, I cream. Every day I make my way after I got work, I, I walk down there, cream, 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 cream. Yeah. It's on. <laughs> it's on. Yeah. I made me a bra. Once I made me a bra, I see a few niggas I was locked up with. See me too. Oh, okay, y'all, what, what's up? And it was on and popping. Next thing you know, I'm, like I'm posting like a lamp. <laughs> <laughs> traditionally, traditionally for Frisco, for people from Frisco, like back in the days, if you was in the L's, they automatically try to make it seem like you got ran from your neighborhood. That was the stigma of people in the city. And then it'd try to go to the base. So so even if you didn't and you was in the L's, you just had your bro who was getting some money, you was down there shying away from it at first because you was like, you didn't want them to put that on you. You know what I'm saying? Like right. and then <laughs> and then they can start going down there with the and getting a bankroll and starting to come up out that L's getting rich. And it was like I'm on my way to the L's, man. The turf too slow. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They got turned down. The turf was it wasn't the same. You feel me? Say, and that happened right. to a lot of them. And it, so then it was just like a gangster party down there. You know what I'm saying? So it started yeah, turning to the wild wild west. Like anything, it always anything can happen in the L's, and it'll always like that. But it turned to where man, the L's. It just it, it be more activity like far as gunplay and shit than sometimes anywhere else. You feel me? When it gets sparking and they get fired up. And then, like, it's, it's more groups, too, like you said. It ain't just Frisco. You feel me? You got up this one and all these Rich man. cities. Yeah. Oakland. So, so the class just be different. You know what I mean? It, 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 it leads exactly. and it just be, it be sick, you know? I'm already knowing, man. I had a good time. I, I, I had a great time. I, I, I was able to experience it before it fizzled out. Yeah, straight like that. Yeah, the pure part of it. Yeah, there you go. But, yeah, I mean, it, it, you go to the now, everybody bent up on fitting off. That's what my, my big homie was just telling me that because you know I live down here now, you know what I mean? And it's just like you can't even it, it just look like something off the movies, like literally, you know what I mean? Man, it, it's, it's bad, man. I, I see a lot of people I know passed away off that fentanyl, and then a lot of them up I see now they own their way. You know what I'm saying? Right, it's, right, right. It's, man, I be I just try to tell them, man, be be careful, man. Be cool. You know, I know what you gotta do what you gotta do, man, but just you know what I'm saying, get this motherfucker a break sometime. It's a, it's and not else, it's a it's a it'll suck you in. It's, it's it's a it's a portal. Right. It'll suck you in there. Yeah. You get caught up in that motherfucker. Like I talked to some of us, uh, uh when you can uh, motherfuckers from New York. Well I, well, I came here for three days. I ain't been back home yet. Damn. Mm-hmm. How long that's been? Two three years. They, motherfucker been stuck down there two three. Man. Two or three years. Been, don't get skin high. Making them circles in the mills. Making them circles in the little two three four five blocks. I done pulled up and like Ells is a place as somebody from the city where you would see like that'd be like lost souls. I really pull up and see my partners from the hood talking to themselves, bro. Like that I grew up with. And I ain't I ain't lived in the city in fifteen, almost twenty years. So I'd be pulled mm. up and be like, That's my brother right there, you know what I mean? In, in, in so much words, you know what I mean? But that ain't him no more. You feel me? And it'd be like, nigga, this shit crazy, you feel me? Mm. Yeah, that's, that's a cold Medina. Yeah, that's, I know. I, 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 I saw a female that she was just having a cold conversation with herself. I said, damn. Yeah. Mm. All I could do is pray for her, man. You never lie. You never lie. See. That's about so, it, man. When you interact with, 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 with the youngsters from your hood or if a youngster came to you and was like, I want to, I'm, I'm trying to be around the hood or I want to be from, from your hood, what would you tell them? It's, 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 I mean, not, I mean, I, I, I try to straight, I tell her, look, man, because it's, I mean, the youngster that's from now, I try to tell man, it's, it's over. The, the streets is over. The game is over with. 
the whole game is just over with, man. Motherfuckers, I mean, motherfuckers, you do something, they go, they motherfuckers gonna tell on you. It's, just, it's all kind of, it's just too much against you. Right. You know what I'm saying? It ain't, right. it ain't, you might as well just get a job, get you a little bra, and enjoy yourself, man. It, it's the streets, the streets is done. I'm talking from the east to the west. I mean, everywhere I go, like you know, what I'm saying from from LA to the Bay to New York to Philly, the streets is done, man. They're done. You know what I'm saying? I don't give a fuck where you. It's it's over, man. Ain't nothing in the streets. Nothing. No more money. Niggas loyalty gone. You might get backdoor. It's it's too much fucked up shit. It's too much shit that think it's cool. It ain't cool. This shit ain't cool. Right. right. So I would tell a motherfucker, man. You know, like I like I tell my homies, man. Just find something to do, man. You know, yeah. I know you rap. If rapping. You know, there's too many rappers out here, but I mean, if rap keep you out of jail. I mean, do it. If it's keeping you out of the way, out I mean, of trouble, it's, yeah, it's too for real, for real. It's saving your yeah, life. Yeah. Right. You know what I'm saying? So if, if that's saving your life, man, stick to it. I said, but other than that, man, find something to do, man. It's, it's life is too short. Because once you out of here, you out of here. Yeah. Ain't no coming back. Great life. Yeah. You done. One and done. Yeah. yeah, for real, for real. We should. And when yeah. you get to be your age to show my age, you know, so many who made one little mistake or who wasn't bad guys or who wasn't into it like right. that. You know what I'm saying? It's something that we know that they was going to crash for sure. But it's a lot of them along the way that you be like, you no, know, brother, no, he didn't deserve that or he wasn't even as deep as this or whatever. You know what I mean? Just so many casualties that was just like, damn. Right. Got caught up, man. It's just. It's- you know, it's, it's 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 bad, man. It's just you know these streets is real, real bad out here, man. Just, man, motherfucker gotta make his you know with the technology down to have and notion, you can you can create something for yourself. You, you know go. what I'm saying? Yeah. You can create like motherfucker be like put me on. I'm like man, you can put your cell phone, cell phone, iPhone. Man, I'm I'm shooting. I I'm, I I got a documentary coming out called Worldwide Whoop, and I've been working on it for Talk about two, three that. years. Talk about the project. Talk about it. Chat. But the, the project is called Worldwide Whoop, and basically it's about the gang culture outside of California. Right. See, there's a there's a whole other culture that's niggas that's copying, excuse me, what's the dude that's copying, uh, they cop, you know, they, they're, they're, they're gang banging. You know, California, what niggas ever really realize, California is the trendsetter for a lot of shit. You know what I'm saying? You'd be surprised how much to get high feet outside the Bay. Right. You know what I'm saying? You'd be surprised how the Bay and LA influence a lot of places. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm through music and, and, and we don't, we, us, from cat, we don't utilize it. We don't right. take it and 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 get money from it. You know what I'm saying? We got to start using our motherfucking brain. That's why I was like, man, I wrote a book. I'm done with the book shit because I, well, I'm going to write one more, but I'm trying to tap into this movie shit, but I'm, you know, I'm doing a documentary now, and it's basically about the blood culture outside of California because there's a culture outside of Cali. I'm talking, they bang in New Zealand, they bang in Africa, yeah. they bang in Hawaii, they bang in all these, like the United States. And, I, and you know, when I was driving my truck, I was going to like I've been in Florida, North South Carolina, New York. You name it, on these uh, Jersey. I've been there documenting the gangs out there. Yeah. So uh, I'm, I'm, I had to get another logo because I couldn't use this because Ice Cube didn't use that. So I can yeah. I can use that logo. <laughs> but worldwide, whoop! But I got a patent, and I'm just trying to get another logo. If I can't get, I find a logo. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm start dropping a, the docu series. It's, it's a documentary series I'm trying to get on Tubi. So okay. um, and just you know and just, and just show the culture outside of. California, how motherfuckers how emulate, emulate us. Yeah. You know? Yeah. How much, um, how much, of the, how much, how much, how much hours of, of film you got and how many, like, things you got included oh, so far? I, oh, shit. I got, man, I got two years worth of footage. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I, I got, I got, I got a lot of East Coast, uh, footage and some South, uh, Midwest. My next stop, though, was, uh, my last stop was Oklahoma. Uh, I was down in the and the, the the real Black Wall Street. I was down in the Black Wall Street, and uh, but I wanted to make another documentary with the boy. But I was down there last before I stopped. Uh, I just got my license back, so I'm gonna start up again. Um, and I'm trying to I'm trying to um, go to New Zealand 
because they got they got out there in New Zealand. But I gotta tap in with somebody. Uh, I gotta find make sure this dude's efficient. I don't wanna be out there and he can slap around. <laughs> <laughs> how do you make? How do you? How do you? How do you vent the the, the, the introductions, bro? I know people be hitting you all the time. You know what I mean? On some, you know, what I mean, trying to what get it, down with the culture. But how do you make sure where you going is you efficient before you get there and all the things? Oh well, well, well. Most well in the in the United States, like most of the states, uh, I've some a lot of a lot of them. I kind of been like, um, well, all of it ain't. I mean, some of them just be. I ain't had no problems, but most of them just because some of them I've been talking to on Facebook for about five years. You okay. know what I'm saying? So I, I make my way out there, but it's nothing's guaranteed. But you know, I, I know how to. I know how to. Certain places I know how to tap in and get extra protection. You know what I'm saying? So I don't. Yeah. You know, it, sure like I said, shit. Stuff, I don't want to. I mean, I might think this nigga the G, and I go with this nigga slapping around, going to stuff on niggas. I don't, right. I don't want to be. You know, yeah. So I mean, I just have. I thank God that I haven't had that problem. Uh, shit, everything's been 100, man. Everything's yeah. been, I've been making judgment, uh, and I just continue to do it my way. You know what I'm saying? I don't, you know, I don't, I don't go around there. I don't try to be the big homie. I'm just, I just tell them what I'm trying to do, you know, like, what, I, what I'm trying to do and how, I'm doing, you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, but I, I know how to, you got to, before I was doing that, I was taking work out of town. So, right. When I was going yeah. to, I, so I know, how, I kind of know how to wiggle and, yeah. you know, get everybody. Yeah. And you know, pass out a few things, you know, give niggas some treats, you know what I'm saying? So they can stay off me, you know what I'm saying? So <laughs> 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 they can stay off me, dog. <laughs> you gotta know how to wiggle, man. You know what I'm saying? You got to. You know what I'm so uh that's that's the basic it, man. But it's it's um, you know, I have I, I had some, you know, it's, it's a lot of good homies, good dudes out, out in different states. I had I had a good time, you know what I'm saying? I have yeah. I've had, you know, some uh I met some good homies. Yeah, I tell like you, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's been all good, you know. Um, I've had fun, so I'm gonna start back up uh, in December. I got my license back, so I had got my my CDLs took for uh, out here in, in Dublin, man. This motherfucking uh, highway tour took my life. This is a long story, man, but I got them back. It's a, it's a nigga, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. License truck got my CDL. That's how you eat. Yeah, for real, for real. And <laughs> they can't copy. They take the hard copy. I can't do nothing with the uh the they give you a pink slip. I can't I can't drive a truck with that. I can get no truck with that. <laughs> no, nah, like that's you know, you got to have hard copy CDL license. I don't know yeah. what the fuck that pink shit. <laughs> you can, what you trying to do with that? That's for the house. Yeah, you can just park it right now. Yeah, you can just park it. So uh yeah, pretty much, man. Uh that's it, man. You know, uh I, I'm I'm um I wanna I wanna make this move to the city, man. Um and get situated because it's a lot of the city got a lot of areas to shoot they got some the city got some beautiful areas to shoot at man some movies right there. Right there. you know what i'm saying yeah. Gate bridge that area right there uh yeah. uh uh what's, 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 the, what's the name of that area what's the, uh uh god damn i was just over there two weeks ago uh uh right by the Golden gate bridge but i remember a long time ago e40 this was in what 2000 and 2000, was that out 2000? 2012, E40 gave a concert over there by the Golden Gate. Uh, Treasure Island? Pre well, it wasn't Treasure Island, no. It was, no, it wasn't, no, fuck no. It was, we was over there by, uh, right up under the Golden Gate. What's that area Marit right there? Not fuck. Maritime. Uh, no, what's the name of that mother? It's, oh, it's, oh uh, uh, Mission Rock? No, uh, right, <sighs> fuck. Okay, for Fort Mason, Fort Mason, and then that other little area right there. What the fuck, man? It's a, it's a weird. But all that, all that, all that military shit is over there. Chrissy all Field? that Chrissy Field. You know what the fuck I'm talking about. Yeah. Pat, oh, my little bro just hit it on the screen. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Chrissy Field. Yeah, Chrissy Field. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't, yeah. Chrissy Field. Yeah. But all over there, you know what I'm saying? Like in the, in, 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 you know, all that little area, all up in the Bay Bridge. That's a nice scenery, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. I'm trying to learn how to, I'm shooting well, well, my, my iPhone, I got the lens on, but all that area, like when the, when the day break, like when day break and all that, time, man, that should be looking nice over there, man. Cal right Cal right Cal <laughs> Frisco, got, Frisco got some real nice 
especially on top of that, especially over there, like in Double Rock and all of it. You get up on them hills yeah, over there. Straight what's, up. And what's that? And all that. I remember I had a vet. I used to drive my vet to there. Walk on. Nigga, I used to go there late at night. Whip it out. Nigga, slow that car down. Hold on. Hold on. But all over there in that little area, man, when it, when the daybreak, when it, when the daybreak and the dawn, it be looking nice over there, man. That's man. that's that's why they, niggas are fighting it. They won't push niggas to fight and take all them up. Like, man, man, it looks so they nice. Get that for real. Rock all the little area, West End, all, all that's on that side. You know what I'm saying? Man, West Point and all that shit. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So, yeah, man, yeah, it'd be nice. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, man. So I'll be, I'll be down in the city, man, in December, man. Uh, if everything go right, and uh, shit, I'm. A, I know, I, I know, motherfuckers is trying to get out of the city because shit is shutting down downtown. Yeah. Like, I went to Market Street, man. Like, a, what the fuck they doing now? They shut the mall, Westfield Mall, gone. Yeah, they, man, they've been acting up so crazy, doing everything. But that's oh, so they, you know, they I said, man, the, I said, everything. They got this thing looking crazy. They for the, I think they for the build something right there though. They then that the Westfield Mall is gone. I mean, but the thing about it is, who else is gonna bring some money like the Westfield Mall? Is, that was so much, you know what I mean? Like it's hard to corner the market with something that big that you can fit there. That's crazy. Man. They done took the Gap. They done took the Walgreens. You gonna have, I got off the Bart. I was like, man, what is this shit? Man. I had jumped on the school, rolled out. I got a little <laughs> lime school. <laughs> Man, what the fuck is this shit? I said, man, it's Frisco. God damn, man. It's because too much. It's a lot of money in San Francisco. Trust me. Oh, it's brick. That look. I mean, because Union Square is still the same. Ain't too much shit. I don't see this. Well, the coach, I used to work in coach. That motherfucker shut down. Whew, man. I don't know, man. I, they trust San Francisco. They trying to run everybody out of there, man. You know how it is in the city. They, they used to have it so segregated and put off in the corner, but now they closed down all the time. A music part of them. Yeah, oh yeah, coming come to the Pizza downtown, Park. and so it's like the niggas, is, you know what I'm saying? They can't hide us no more, and it's just like niggas ain't got nowhere else to go but run around downtown and and bip and rob and bust moves. You know what I mean? Because that's the only place where it's trafficking. Even like when you go to the point, it ain't like like when you go to the different neighborhoods, they're gonna be empty. It's gonna be a couple main blocks where everybody be hanging at now. You feel me? In the mo, you know what I mean? In these certain, even in the view. It, it ain't going to be people on every corner, every block. It's going to be one central p- spot where everybody kind of congregate. And you know what I'm saying? That's just what it is. Hey, because it's, it's, the, the city, the city too live, man. One thing I like about Tusco, and when I, when I used to hang out with it, I, they, they, hey, listen, I used to come out. I, I, had, a, I had a little spot. I was staying up there on Gary, right? I would wake up three in the morning, walk outside. They get, they get, it's home. It's, 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 it's up. Cool. <laughs> I was like, okay, yeah. this, this, I, I like Frisco. You know what yeah. That's why. When you, I, like, when you go, said mini New York, I, that's what people always say. I haven't oh, been there, but that's what people always say. Like, oh, yeah, they remind them of it. Oh, New York is twenty four hours. They, 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 niggas, niggas walk around. You be like, where are you niggas going? It's, yeah. they, they, niggas up this up in New York. I'm like, where the fuck y'all going, man? Yeah, yeah, Chopped cheese sure. sound. <laughs> <laughs> but Frisco, <laughs> yeah, but Frisco, motherfuckers, yo, motherfuckers used to just be up. You know what I'm saying? They might be high, but. Niggas yeah, is up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I love the city. I love the city, man. I I, I like Frisco. You know, it's, it's Frisco got its own identity. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, it's, 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 I'm telling you, I'm a, I'm gonna see a few movies over there, man. Fuck that, because it's, it's 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 too much scenic, nice scenes over there. Right? I used to be driving to that motherfucker. I'm like, damn, this motherfucker was nice. Yeah, they got some. You know what I'm saying? So. Chrissy Fields. I can think it's Chrissy Fields for shit. <laughs> <laughs> I, for, I know for Mason. Yeah. Fields. Chrissy goddamn Fields. Yeah. Well, yeah, I'll let you yeah. know, Creep. Um, what's the, when your partners tell you they're going to the city or they're going to the land from out of town or from different places with some of the, the few things you kind of give them some guidelines so they so they stay safe in the, in the city and stuff. In your city. But say it again. You was a, repeat I, I it one said, more time. I said, um, your partner's coming from out of state, out of town, and they come to L.A. or they come in to, to function around the city or be, you know what I mean, in your, in your old stomping grounds with some of the guidelines you give them, with some of the things you tell them so they can, you know what I mean, move around the right way. Well, first of all, mind your fucking business, number one. <laughs> Stay out of the next motherfucker's business. <laughs> you live long. Yeah. And then when you 
I mean, if you step on a nigga's shoes, say excuse it. It's, uh, manners is everything. Yeah. Respect everything. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, I mean, it's just, you know, pretty much tap in. Like, the mother thing when you say check in, and that's some sucker shit. I mean, I check in everywhere I go. Yeah. I tap in everywhere I go. Straight up. You know what I'm saying? Even when, I, like, I'm just, I'm in Stockton right now. If I'm on yeah. my way to the city, I'm yeah. calling. What's, like, what's going on over there? What's right. popping? Right up. Is it cool? Is, is it hot? I mean, what, what is it like? Yeah. Give me a yeah. check. I know what I'm driving. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, basically just have a, always have a go-to person. That's yeah. a good thing mm. to keep you ahead. Always have a go-to person. You know, and I always have somebody connected to the streets or what's happening. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, I make sure I'm in touch with motherfuckers. I, I, even if I just text them, whatever, I make sure that I'm okay. I don't want to walk it. I don't never want to walk into a death trap. Ever. Yeah. And to keep me from doing that, texting and calling does a lot. Especially if I ain't been in a while. I mean, I'm a freak. I'm a frequent flyer to Bay Bridge, but I'm just saying, you know, you yeah. know I'm going to LA down. I'm, I'm before I go down there, I'm a, I, I call, but then sometimes I don't call because I don't want them to come. It's, I'm playing a different ball game down there. I just pull up. What's up? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Straight like that. <laughs> hey, it's the same mentality when I get home. They be like, you here? They be like, you here? <laughs> Now I'm back right. here, you know what I'm saying? It's just like you said, I'm playing a different ball game, you know what I'm saying? Off top. Um, so, I mean, just basically, man, just, you know, the advice I have, man, just tap in uh, and just be respectful, man. That's all. This is about respect. It's, it's, that's the respect is a long way. Period. Right up. Right up. I don't have problems. I, I don't, you know, I don't ever really have, I don't even have no problems. I don't, you know what I'm saying? Because I always do what I do and what works for me always yeah. works for me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, and that's pretty much it, man. I just try to do my thing, you know. Uh, shit, I'll be in the city Monday. No, Sunday, I'm going I'm gonna go to the beach. I'm going to go to Crown Beach for a minute mm-hmm. and Alameda head to the city. How was John Gotti, Creed? I can't let you go without asking you how John, was John Gotti. <laughs> so John, John Gotti, you know what, John Gotti? He had a lot of war stories, right? You got to chop it up? You got to sit him chop it up with him? I, every day, you know, what I'm saying we was on the same tier. Okay. So, so I would talk to him every day. You know, he was dying of throat. He was dying of cancer. He had throat cancer, and we was in a we was at USP Marion. Marion is a, a lockdown facility that uh, you lock up 23 hours a day and you uh, wreck for one hour. So we would go to wreck every day. It'd be freezing cold because we was in Illinois together, Marion, Illinois. Mm. So uh, we would chop it up, man. And, and he left me with a lot of. War stories. <laughs> Did he really be here? And his war stories, when he tell me, I was cringing like, man. I said, man, you feel comfortable telling me that? He said, man, I, listen. He said, listen. Yeah. This would happen. Yeah. yeah. He tell me, play for play. I'm like this. <laughs> Tune in. <laughs> I can write. A book. Yeah. But what he shared with me, I would never share of because course. he is a trust. Of you course. know what I'm saying? But- and he's nothing like. But see, a motherfucker can tell you one thing about a motherfucker, and then you can witness another thing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I talk to him every day. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Every day we go to wreck every single day. Outside wreck, and then you had was it Monday, Wednesday, Friday, outside, Tuesday, Thursday, inside. So I would wreck this motherfucker every day. You know, yeah. I mean food off his tray. Yeah. You know, so I mean, you know, motherfucker, you know, they paint the picture of him one way, but I got to talk to the nigga for a year straight. Yeah, like, like, so, you said, yeah. like you said, that him trusting and respecting you enough to share those stories with you showed you how much he Man. respected you. Showed you how much he respected Man. you and your character and how you carried yourself. You know what I'm saying? And Man. of course, you and and he knew you was going to honor that. That's why he sat down with you. He wouldn't have did. You know what I'm saying? Man, he, I used to be like, <laughs> bro, I didn't know. <laughs> Some of those stories? Yeah. I was like, I was catching case listening to this motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> damn. I'm talking, man, I'm hearing some brutal shit. You hear me? Yeah, yeah. Ooh. Yeah, straight up. He, he tell me stories how he came up, how he had to come up on top. Like, yeah. what he had to do. Like, yeah. Man, what? <sighs> Scary. <up>. Yeah. <laughs> I said that, and you know, when, when, when he, when I left, I went to, I went to Long Park. He went to Springfield. It was like, it's a, a hospital jail. And that's what he passed in uh, 2000, 2001. And I, I looked and I looked at the pictures and I started laughing. I said, You crazy, you're a funny motherfucker. That's all I said. You, I said, You're a funny motherfucker, right? Wherever the fuck you at. He's a, he's a motherfucker too. He, yeah. he's, he's, a, he's 
joker too. Yeah. He ain't got jokes here. I can imagine. Because <laughs> the Latin Kings, we used to be walking the track. This like, and a lot of the white. He didn't want to be in the unit with white boys. You know what I'm saying? He wanted really? to be in it with. Actually, mess. Yeah, he didn't want to do it because they they try to press him. Was a B skinheads. Yeah. yeah. So we we walk on the track, and the, the, the white boys be on the gate looking like, what is them two motherfuckers talking about? Yeah. You know, that blood nigga. Like, what what could, they, what could they be talking about? Yeah. But he telling me all kind of stories. Oh yeah, this that. Yeah, I had to tie your suit on. I popped. I came with you. Pulled up. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? We got this. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, what? <laughs> right. Right there in the store. I'm like, man. So they be like, hey, hey. They that they try to figure out. They want to say something. Hey, 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 got it. They say, hey, what's up? You know, he talked to the time. What's up? Yeah. I mean, what's up? And he'd be like, man, you know, like, they'd be like, what's up with so-and-so? I, 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 he's fucking cocksucker. I don't know the fucking cocksucker. And, you know, <laughs> he, like, he, you know, he didn't want to hear that shit. You know, they're like, yeah. fuck who you talking about, man. I don't know where them niggas at. Right. You know what I'm saying? I'm a fucker. You know what I'm saying? I'm still <laughs> the asshole. Yeah. He was about to do something. He did it anyway. Like, you know, so. Yeah, he was cool. Yeah, I mean, he was. I'm glad I was able to meet him. You know? Yeah, yeah, straight up. <laughs> so, you know, we. I got, I got good memories of that motherfucker. Put it that That's way. What's up. That's what's up, bro. And I, you know, like you said, motherfuckers hear stories about people and people talk about people, and until you experience a person and a person experience you, because person people get different parts of a person because of how they are. You know what I'm saying? Like, I told him. About- I said, man, I said, I thought you didn't like blacks. Like, I said, I thought you was racist. You said, told, you said that to him, Chris. I didn't like black people. He said, "Man, come on, man." He said, "He said that's he said that's what's up with this media." He said, "He said you ain't never heard me say that." Yeah. I don't know. I have. He said, "You ain't never heard me say that." He said, "They because I'm Italian and they, you know." He said, "You know, we we dealt drugs and we probably had much business." Well, he said, "But I, what you mean, though? I don't, you know what I'm saying? I ain't never." He said, "I never harmed no black. I harmed a lot of Italians, though." <laughs> <laughs> I, I said, I said they got they paint the picture as you're a racist. Yeah, you know that's how that's how the picture is painted. Or at least half our minds. Right. He's like, nah. I wouldn't be. He said, I wouldn't be kicking with you over here in this unit. I'll be over right. with them cocksuckers against the gate, looking over here. He yeah. said, right. so it made sense, you know. But straight like that. Whatever it was, I, I got a chance to kick it a whole year with him. Man. And I, I learned a lot. I got some good stories. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. That's Other than story, that, man, bro. for sure, man. Hey, I, I appreciate the, the interview. I appreciate that. I, 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 I was doing something earlier, man. I was way downtown. I said, I got, I, got, I got two cell phones. I was like, man, I got it. And this phone that you own is yeah. my, my business phone. I was like, damn, I can't. I, I see that you had never got texted like four o'clock. Yeah. <laughs> Well, we got good, we got- man, I appreciate you. I appreciate you taking the time out, big dog. And, you know what I mean? I, I hey, do need to enlighten, but we're gonna do it. We're gonna double back and do another one, and we're gonna keep on gonna do- exchanging yeah, this the- game. You feel me? Yeah. Oh, do this, man. Listen, I'll be listen. When I come to the city, it's gonna be all good, man. Straight like that, man. Straight I'll like be, that. I'll be. I can be closer. You know, I could do. I can. You know, I can. You know, I don't. In the city, I, you don't need a car. I got, I'm going to give me a scooter and I'm going to roll through that motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? (laughs) For sure, man. Hey, I appreciate you, man. Much love, homie. It's all good, big dog. And anything you're working on, keep letting me know, man. I'm going to keep sharing it with the people. We're going to keep this thing lit, champ. Man, we're going to get a Frisco movie popper, man. We're going to get a... We go, we go shoot one in the skull, man, because most of us don't know about the skull, for real. Straight like, you know, I'm right, right. Like you said, you're working on your, I'm working on my third book right now, so it should be interesting, man. I got a lot of, a lot of stories, a lot of history, you feel me? So it should be good, man. We're going to be putting it together, champ. We got to just keep going, like you said. For sure, man. Hey, I appreciate you. For sure, bro. Much love. All right. See you. <laughs>